Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the LBLCS. Now, I know you're sitting there at home asking so many questions. What is going to happen in the Economy League? Is it going to be a little too crazy for me? Am I going to be able to stay up another two hours and watch it? Yeah, probably. The yes. The answer is yes. And, and Dutch Krampus is here sitting next to me. He got, He knows a lot of things. This man, I mean... Has he solved the equation of life? No. Is he come Another close? Friend. No, not at all. He's not even tried to do that because no one on earth realizes that they could do it. But is he smart? Still no. Still not gotten to a yes yet, but he is pretty cool. But if you ask me if I know how to boil water or climb a tree, my answer would be sometimes. So boil uh, water. What are those halfway two? there. Yeah, but what do those two things have to do with each other? That's what I want to know. Just... <laughs> Don't worry about it. I'm not going to worry about it. Mostly because I don't understand. And you know what I always say? If I don't understand, whatever. Doesn't matter. We're going to switch. <laughs> doesn't, <laughs> doesn't matter. It never will. Switch over to the pro draft that these guys are using right now. And uh, let me tell you uh, that I'm, I'm thinking we need a third caster. Uh, and I got one. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. And it's a man both me and you know as um, S.E.B., which I can't, I cannot disclose who that is or the, the exact acronym definitions. But I can mm. say that I just asked them now and they never confirmed, and it is Mr. Prezi. Oh, the one and only. Seems to be he's, he's actually just he's typing green eggs and ham to me now. He's just only gonna. That's okay, you know? We're all Dr. Seuss enthusiasts here in the LBLCS. Um, yeah. I yeah. believe this pick ban has not started yet. This pick ban is not yet live, although okay. we're ready. Just making sure that I am uh, I'm at the same place you are in time and space. Probably uh, not. <laughs> Probably, Probably not, not with how many coordinators I've try. had. Not many <laughs> are even close to the atmosphere I am circling in. Uh, six, come on, boy, Chug. Listen, guys, you are really putting me over the edge here. I am not, I'll do it, but you gotta count to six for me. So can you do it, uh, Mr. Dutch Boy? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, man, that is cold. Oh. You know what wow. they say? Well done. Fuck. Take That's two. what they say. <laughs> Ice cold coriander right up the hatch. Right and I'll there. match you, uh, match your coriander with some of my finest fruit juice. Fruit juice and which coriander. Which I will not, I will not count. I will not let you count the six because. <sighs> yeah, no, I don't even know how to count yeah, that high. I'm not There's no number yet. higher than five. <laughs> if you're on my team, you know that's true. There yeah, is it only no takes number. five drinks, five <sighs> sips. What, what is your team called? <sighs> Been a lot of discussion today about. Teams, yeah, no, but... I'm ch mostly choking right now. I'm mostly trying not to cough. But but speaking of teams, speaking of teams I, I got two great I'm really ones. looking forward. I'm really looking forward to this game. Yeah. I got to talk about these teams a little today, and uh, I said some good things. So now let's see if they can show me all the good things that I said about them to me. Um, I don't know if that made any sense. Probably not. But I am excited. Um, Serenity coming back uh, for another season. Um, and WWW, uh, you know, debuting uh, on the uh, on the World Wide Web, or no? Well, yes, but also in the Rift. Um, so I'm excited to see both these teams, uh, new and old players, um, coming together for uh, for a good game, and uh, we'll see what they have to offer us. Yeah, it's going to be at least a little bit, if not a lot of it. WWW already a fan favorite, but Serenity Esports a fan favorite from last season. They're on the red side this game. I know we're just sitting here waiting for the pro draft to begin. We cannot wait. Swagger, I'm going to drink a lot for you right now. Let me do it right now. Uh, my boys and girl singular. So it's going to be one girl in one of the teams. And it might be me. As I take a we've drink. got some uh, we've got some WWs in the chat. The Royal King seventy five shooting it out and uh, hyping it up. Yeah, and I know yeah. you guys can't see the chat that's actually going on right now, but there seems to be a a great understanding Another that WWW friend. has not used ProDraft before, so mm. we are going to be super understanding with them. If they select the wrong thing, type it out in the lobby that we're in. Let us know because ProDraft. 
even if you've used it 600 times, sucks. It just doesn't always get it yeah. right. You can lock it's in Cho'Gath, tricky. and it's like, do you mean Alawi? And you're like, no. <laughs> no, I didn't mean Alawi. Yeah. I meant Cho'Gath. So it can be a little tricky. It's okay if you get a couple things wrong. Just no, just push forward. Do the best that you can. And, and let's jump on into this draft right here, guys. Let's go on into it. Woohoo. Press the button. Right. They're pushing buttons. I hear that they're they're they're, they're pushing buttons. It oh, we're been confirmed. We're going. Uh, buttons are being pressed. Someone you don't know. Thank code. you so much for subbing. Your majority shareholder. Wow. Now you've played against her in esports. When you looked at them, when you were on THC, what were your big bans? Because LeBlanc, it looks like it's the first thing that's going to be banned. Okay, so Serenity Esports, um, I can't remember everything, obviously, that I banned against them. I know they do have a couple players that, like, have preferred picks. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, their team, their roster's changed around a little bit. Right. Um, they do have a few original members. Their mid laner, for example, um, Hugh, is still there. Um, I believe their top laner as well. His name is escaping my mind at the moment. Never the last um, legate, the last legate. The, like that. Yes, that's it. Yeah, yeah, I think the last legate plays uh, a few tanks primarily, um, but we'll see. We're seeing a Kaisa ban and Olaf respond. Yeah, I think that Olaf's a really good ban, especially when you, when you get down to economy. We saw it really be influential in the last series that we broadcasted today. Zach, another jungler ban, so obviously the big threat it seems to be is... And I'm going to try to pronounce this one. I know you're in the lobby with me. Dashiel55. I don't know if I nailed it, but I said it with a lot of emphasis, so I'm hoping that it was right. Pike Dashiel. also going to be banned away from this bottom lane, uh, Gale6790. So no real bans other than LeBlanc to, to Ho or Hugh. Yeah, and I do know they do have a couple um, substitutes on the side of WWW. Um, I'm not sure how like flexible flexible their roster is as far mm -hmm. as like the main roster and the subs, but I think they have two subs playing. Um, so and we've seen subs already in the season. Um, yeah. it, oh, we see. Holy shit! Wow, that's oh, about as I bold like, as you can get. I like these quick picks. Damn! Wow. <laughs> coming right back at him with a Morgana, which I think is a great response. And Norway Pete knows it. Norway Pete it, it, it was the captain last season of certain esports. Urgot's a really solid pick for this top laner here. Um, also, yeah. Mordekaiser, he's really popped off on that one before, too. I've seen it. Oh, thank you so much for playing uh, Gin and Juice there. Whew. Yeah, and I'm really, I'm really actually mainly curious to see what their... Um, Serenity's new jungler. I've been. I've definitely had an eye on uh, his champ pool. Yeah. Uh, or their champ pool. Um, Swagger four two zero six nine. Um. So I'm. I think the. I think the jungler looks promising. I think they have a lot of unique picks. So I'm really curious to see what they respond with. Um, well, I think. We and I like that you brought up that it's a jungler. That they also got a new one up that is super super solid. It seems. And it's. First off, before I even talk about that. Uh, El Regina is right. The balls to pick Trindamir first means that I, this could be either the most alpha team we've ever seen or a massive mistake, and I don't think it's going to fall somewhere in between those two things. They either are going to pop off on this Trindamir or I am worried, uh, and that's yeah. about it. Because uh, but... that's one of two things. <laughs> yeah, that <is laughs> that's one either of... a mistake in draft, like a miscalculation, or... This like, man is yeah, nuts. Like he said, he's just he's just nuts. Yeah. And he just, you know, the player knows that they can perform well in Trindamir, or maybe they think it's a contested pick, um, and they can just go with it. And I mean, they're looking like a really aggressive team. I mean, Trindamir Yone, um, that's that's quite the combo. We'll see if they have enough in their uh, picks to let that Trindamir split push. Um, Trindamir is not known for his team fighting. Um, I mean, not that it can't happen, but right. generally, like you really want to be sticking side laners, play one three one. Um, and and win fights through uh, or win game through towers um, and inhibitors. Um, you know, are seeing if you're Ramsey really really good at, and this is something we see a lot in in, in uh, leagues like economy, like we, we probably will see in commercial too. If there's a couple people who are really good at one or two champions, they will just pick it because they yeah. understand how to team fight with it or they understand how to split with it, and that's so much more valuable than having a lane that will win. You know, Tramir doesn't fall behind. If he does well against this Urgot here in the top lane, that's it won't matter if he if he's super, super focused on it. That being said, I wouldn't give Urgot to the top laner. This dude has literally 
just nine been nine zero and four in games before on Urga. So definitely yeah. super important. Looks like Lucian is gonna be the mid lane. Uh, which is going to give a lot of flexibility I to Ho here. I really like the Lucian. I mean, I've, I think it's going to probably go mid because because the Ezreal. But um, but I, yeah, I mean, Huey is I, like I said this earlier in uh, in the podcast. I specifically mentioned how much I loved the Lucian playing from last season, and we're seeing it again. And I think that's a great pick, just because it's such a comfort pick. You yeah. do well on it. Yep. A lot of agency in the game, and sur- there's a lot of survivability in Lucian while still dealing out damage. Yeah, and Lulu's already picked up here. That's a little bit of AP, but I think they will need more inside of this jungler that they're about to pick up. Already has four bands against him, as chat is talking about. I'm going to allow that one. It's Ho. It's pronounced Ho, which is how I've been pronouncing it. Yeah, yeah. I was just yeah, nervous okay. that it, it wasn't Thank because you. of the podcast. Thank you, Norway, Pete. Norway Pete, just correcting yeah, us. Keeping us in. on our goddamn just... <laughs> Ooh, dear, picked up. Okay. Ooh, dear. If I'm looking at this... And I'm not looking at it, but if I'm looking at it, which I am, yeah. um, that's a lot of melee characters, and I'm a little worried about yeah. that. I think the Lilia pick is great. Yeah, I think the Lilia gives Lithic's them so like that's good. like hard to lock down team. Besides yeah. maybe Urgot, like that team's really flexible. I mean, Lucian Ezreal can be kind of slippery. Ezreal definitely so. Lilia is super right. slippery, and Morgana can provide both engage pick potential and disengage. Yep. I, mean, yep. I really like the the flexibility in in playing around the map. Um, and on the other side, WWW, uh, I think I, I I like some of the aggressive picks. Um. I'm a little worried, like you said, about the lack of AP damage. I mean, Lulu's probably going to be a support. Um, so m- that might come back to haunt them there. So the thing that I do like about the Lulu is that it can kind of negate a little bit of the engage that the other team has. Um, it- it's a really safe pick if you have somebody who's going to be kind of like not necessarily a 1v9 like we've talked about before with people being able to do that. But like Ho has been able to do that. People have been able to do that in this <laughs> league. But if Exodia 13 is actually just absolutely bonkers on Trindamir, having yeah. a pick like uh, Lulu can actually enable it to actually work. And it's mm-hmm. something we've seen happen before in the, in the Economy League, and it's something that we will probably see again this season. Whether or not it's this game, I don't know. There's another one after it, though. And mm-hmm. I think both of these teams are going in with minimal information about each other, and they're about to find out a lot. And I think the draft in Game 2 like we saw in the earlier series today, is going to be really different. Yeah. And I will say, like, you're definitely right um, in regards to Lulu. Like, she does offer a lot of utility, a lot of disengage. Um, and at the end of the day, you know, if you can get enough done in with Trindamir in the side lane, um, perhaps throwing, uh, like, Yon uh, or Udir or Yone um, or Deer in another side lane um, and trying to splitting the map up, not letting them fight you mm-hmm. um, 5v5. Like, you might not need um, that, like, big burst AP mage or that AP damage um, if you can just play around them. But I do, lo- I do think the Morgana and the Lilia are really good at handling that sort of that sort of comp um just because they do have a lot of pick potential and you can move fast well, so we'll, about we'll pick see potential, how it... like the, the listen i like both comps because they're both really fun they're fun really they're, they're fun. Def- this is gonna be a fun game no matter if it's I mean, a landslide or if it's the closest game of all time i will game. say <laughs> where trindamir is locked in first locked in first trindamir right. is gonna be a goddamn <laughs> like, good game it's just a fact of life but yes. but i will say I'm I'm nervous on the side of WWW, which seems to be the fan favorite. Warden's Worldwide locked in a lot of melee champions. That yeah. makes me nervous, just as a person who who's played the game for a really long time. Now played since season two of League. Uh, I'm nervous. I I feel like that can be exploited. However, if you get ahead, if you snowball Udir or Trudimir or Yone in any way, you can yeah. stomp. And I mean, perhaps the Udir was just picked. I mean, sure, you could have gone AP jungle. Um, you could have done a lease Ma- uh, for Udyr. the early game or Maokai or something. But the the Udir, um, it it's a not a hard champion to execute, and you can make rotations around the map really quickly. Um, if you're proficient with Udir, um, you know you can make some plays by out farming, outlasting, and just running down enemy champions early in the game. Like it, it can happen. 
Um, so although I do probably favor um, Serenity's draft, uh, I think it's a little bit better as far as like the team composition goes, um, just because of those like melee picks and AD picks. I, I don't think and so many of these games, like an economy, you know, you look at drafts and you're like, okay, mm-hmm. like, this team, you know, I like this draft. Like, I'm not going to lie when I say, you know, I, I really do like SE's draft um, better, but um, like you said, it comes down to comfort and it yeah. comes down to execution and an economy. It's not, I mean, you can sink or swim off like weird calls. I mean, my former team THC, I mean, like we definitely had to learn ropes where we like threw entire games off of like bad Baron calls. And, you know, you might, you might find that comfort picks. Like if this, uh, if this top laner here, Exodia, um, is super comfortable on Trindamir, or if Yona pops off, I mean, the game could just be over before it even starts. Like, team comp Definitely. at that point doesn't even matter. If they're on a comfort pick that they're just rolling over the game with, like, it doesn't matter that you don't have AP. The other thing, damage. too, about that is that, you know, we're talking about it, it on paper, and I talked about this in the yes. first series, like, on paper, like, you, you're really worried about the, the team that's, that's all melee, but also, on paper, the team on the right, Urgot's the only tank. You know, if Yone yeah. hits an ult and hits Lucian Ezreal, goodbye damage. You know, you're, you're really knocking those guys out of the park. Thank you so much for the cheer, Mr. Prezi. I know you're cheering for me casting. I really appreciate that. <laughs> um, but, no, seriously, the, the Jin gets an ultimate off. And, and Udyr gets in there with a Lulu ultimate on them. You could shred the people if you get on them. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, and I, I that's a really good point to bring up. Like, sure, they have maybe hit more... like when you look at team compositions and look at drafts, like there's like certain boxes you kind of want to check generally. Um, that's how I look at it at least. Um, and, and those boxes change depending on what the other team plays and like right. what you're comfortable playing. Um, so there's probably more boxes checked on SEs, but you're right. Like they don't have a primary tank. Um, they, they have Urgot, sure, but the, I wouldn't really consider Urgot really a, like a tank. He's kind of like that hybrid bruiser. Um, and some of their champions i mean yeah yone can blast through i mean Jin, a good ultimate or a good fourth shot i mean you can you can really knock out like players pretty quickly um if you are able to execute in the right place at the right time so i think that's where a lot of this game will come like that's how i see the win condition play out for www is either good map rotations through side lanes or through just annihilating them with damage um, by having better map map calls um, and playing around the map better and, and right. having I mean, communications. We saw basically the communication be the dictating fact in the first series that we cast Absolutely. today. I mean, it was, okay, game one, I mean, spare parts didn't have the communication that Wandom did, and Wandom was able to take game one in a pretty convincing lead and, and close it out, and game two, vice versa. Right, you have spare yeah. parts being able to absolutely take it. They get a draw for their first series of the league. Now we've got it's two teams who I think on paper you can't call it. I, I, if I'm playing in the game, I'm, I'm I'm partial to the side that is Serenity Esports, but I'm also mm-hmm. biased as a caster because I've seen yeah. Serenity Esports play. Yes, and absolutely. I, I know what they're like, and I know how they play, and I think that that is. You know, that's it, affecting how I'm thinking about this game. It's how I'm going in. I don't know about WWW. I know they're a fan favorite already. And I'm going to go in open-minded. Anybody can take it. Yeah. Yeah, and I, that's that's a really good point to bring up. It's just, like, caster bias and, like, spectator bias. I right. mean, you know, I, I, I fully admit that when I, you know, I like seeing returning teams. I really like seeing returning players. So um, I try not to be too... Uh, too bias towards one team or other but yeah like www is essentially a blank slate um we are going to see today how they handle uh the shot calling map rotations how they execute and yeah it's going to be it's going to be interesting to watch like somebody just come onto the rift for the first time uh in lblcs so i'm excited yeah we're going to see how these two teams are able to play against one another without having that full knowledge. Obviously, if you are WWW, you can check out the YouTube page down below. If you scroll down, you can see our YouTube page right there. It's a hyperlink. Uh, and and, and Stranding Esports have several games that are up on there. You could really watch them. You could learn a, a lot about their top laner. You could... <laughs> Thank you for playing that bit. Uh, learn a lot about the top laner. Learn a lot about... The, the mid laner, I believe uh, their their ADC as well played several games uh, in the in the previous season. So 
you could do serious scouting. You can't do the same thing when you're looking at WWW. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you have a whole season of scouting that you can look at right. for um, Serenity Esports. It's definitely not the case with the WWW. I'm just going to let you know that I am having a low-budget issue right now getting to this game. Awesome. But I'm in the game, just so you know. You know? You're, yeah, I, oh, I know. I have the Twitch up. <laughs> <laughs> Very low-budget. Uh, but we'll be back. We'll, we'll... well, I'm here. Yep. Um... Yeah, we'll see if we can uh, if we can get in here. They've probably got some type of strategy. They're ready to play any type of way. Lethal Tempo on this top lane, Trindamir. We've also got Phase Rush and Ghost on this here. I'm expecting it to probably be a. I mean, I gotta think there's gotta be a decent amount of AP getting built on this. We started Tiger, so I, I I'm not sure what to think. Yeah, I am in loaded back into the game. Um... Really love that uh, that Lucian skin. Uh, as far as so Bugle, you played a lot of mid lane. How do you see the uh, Lucian versus Yone? Because I have some opinions, but I'm not sure. I have, I played mostly top, so I've actually been been practicing both champions a lot recently. And I will say that I think Yone is going to get abused in lane. But if Yone can mitigate the damages that happen on top lane, talking about mitigating damages, a lot of damage on Exodia yeah. right there. Yeah, those Nothing early trades in top lane yeah. matter a lot. I mean, Trindamir does have, like, abilities to right. he he has can the healing. heal back. Yeah. Right. So, so, Yona usually gets abused by ranged mid laners. Um, and, obviously, Ho is not afraid to abuse him right there. Going yeah. in, doing a lot of damage <laughs> in that trade as well. But Yone, it, you can go 0-7 on Yone, and as soon as you get two and a half items, all of a sudden, you know, 1v5 a team fight. So, I yeah. think... No, oh, he's going to try to trade a little bit oh. right there. He's unable to do too much. And that's what it is. So it's like, can you mitigate the losses? Can you still CS? If you can CS decent, you know, mm -hmm. only go down a little bit against a ranged mid laner, you're still going to be able to do what you want to come mid game, come late game. Yeah, and I mean, that's that's really so true. Right? The the <laughs> the 0 and 7 power is like kind of like joke that's in League about like Yone and Yasuo is like kind of true because it's they have to get the power spike through items. Um, right. They need... They need, it's like same with Bane, you know? It's like they need certain things. Yeah. Um, oh. They need certain things. He's gonna be a flash right here from Ho. He needs that to survive. He's gonna drop his W onto Dashell right there. Hit him just for a little bit of but it's not gonna be a lot. He's actually gonna start really burning him. Oh. And Ho trying to trade the damage that he can, but Dashell oh, picks nice. up the first blood of the game. www.strikesfirst.com. Check it out. Yeah, and then Alilia just was not quite on the right side to help respond to that. And yeah, that's what I was saying about Udir is like something like that. Like, there's not a ton of mechanics in that champion you have to worry about. Like, you can you can execute the right play at the right time, per, you know, pretty easily as long as your your macro is at least uh, at least in the right place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, giving Yone some farm is uh, definitely uh, definitely probably nice. Uh, I'm really loving that. Yeah. Um, I don't think there's too lane. much action until neutral objectives spawn, and we do see that then Infernal Drake spawning about 50 seconds. But, you know, these two teams, every lane doesn't want to do too much. I look at the bot lane. I, I As a support main, yeah. oh, wait, but top lane wants to do something. The Exodia dropping super, super low, and he just gets Ooh. blown up. This is why you don't give this man Urgot. He will find a way to kill you, and he will do it more than once in lane. But down in the bot lane, I feel like these guys are just going to poke each other. Yeah. Over and over again. Jin doesn't really want to go all the way in. Neither does Lulu or Morgana. And Ezreal's just going to spam Q. So I think that until we... Oh, that's Q. It's, yeah, but that's the thing. Like, Yeah, it doesn't amount to anything. It doesn't mean anything. <laughs> you have shield. Everyone has shields. Everyone yeah. has ways to get away. It's There's crazy. Not too much that can happen there. We'll probably, I mean, unless junglers decide to rotate down and the vision isn't there. Um... You know, there's not too much that can happen there. Um, top lane, I think, is really going to be pretty spicy. Mid lane will probably be spicy uh, once there's a couple a couple items in their pockets. Um, yeah. But I, we are seeing a little bit of a CS difference. Um, I think Urga is, like, turning into one of the... Like, already, it's turning into one of those champions we're going to see a lot of in the LVL CS. Um, yeah. Because he's just able to do well in so many matchups. He's really not that like hard to execute um, as long as you have like some proficiency on him or I played him a little bit. Um, and you were seeing a CS different, a slight CS difference and a oh, 
It does look like Dreamer is having a little bit of a ping issue, as they're talking about in chat. And obviously, in LBLCS, you have 15 minutes of pause time total. If you really need to use it, you know, always confer with the other team. Make sure nobody's in the middle of combat with an enemy champion. Um, and then as long as everything's good, you, you may pause. We do play in tournament draft mode. So that is totally allowed. What they're doing is totally fine. And it's very low budget of them. So I really like it. Yep. Yeah, and I mean, pausing, like, this is a really good time to talk about pausing. Um, there's such a an etiquette <laughs> to it. Um, really, a if you are a team who right pauses now. at good times, everyone else will respect you, like, a hundred times more. There are teams that I became friends with because I was like, these guys are awesome. Like, they know how to pause. <laughs> yeah. Because, you know? like, yeah. I was dealing with um with a, a Kosa's team um in... Uh, or, or is that uh, he's changed his name a million times but in hawaii like their ping can be spotty so um you know it happens like they have to pause and stuff like that and i remember playing against them for the first couple times and they needed to pause but they would always do it at like good times when there wasn't they were in the middle of fights and stuff like that yeah. like right now is a great example so really well done to bolt to who, uh, whoever paused like paused at this time i'm not sure which team it came from they actually but, had talked about it in um, the chat uh mobino the yone right. in the mid lane uh, had said like gotcha. hey we need to pause for a internet break but he said it in about 10 seconds later yeah. then they paused um yeah like that's they, great they i mean if you can say it in though. chat before it happens like that's you know big. a few seconds before that's really ideal and uh, yeah. you know it just shows really good sportsmanship which is goes a long way in the lblcs um, yeah not pog champ but pause champ for sure pause champ um also i just want to talk about one other thing and that's that um, this game's starting again, so never mind. I'm not gonna talk about it because the game's going. We're back <laughs> into it. <laughs> Noe P is uh, asking that we call him Ur God. Well, we will see, depending on how this goes. Yeah. Uh, if he is truly the Ur God, a lot of backs here, um, kind of timing out together. We might see uh, plays looking towards Dragon. I do like the vision coming from SE. Um, they're really prioritizing the river right now. Um, mid lane really well warded with the pink up top and uh, and a uh, green ward down bottom, um, or vision ward, whatever. Um, so we are seeing some vision. We're seeing them look towards Dragon possibly as well. Uh, it does look like people are going to converge around there. Top lane, Exodia going in only level 5. Oh. Wow, Urgot's level 6 means he's just going to get picked up. I mean, that's just might not be an after all. Yeah, he might be an Urgot, but I think a little overzealous by that Trinomir. I mean, they locked it in first pick. He went in under level. You know Urgot can, can clean you up. He's got more CS than you. He's got more XP. So he is going to get probably a tower plate, if not more. He also has his teleport up, and Trinomir is dead and does not even have teleport uh, for himself. Oh, here comes... Here comes Urbia, he's on the dragon right now, they don't notice him. Where's, oh, Lily is able to get back in there, use the Q. Oh, they are trading so well right here. Are they able to take wow. more? Lilia goes down, Uir goes down. A oh, nice binding team. from Gale onto that Jin right there. Well, flash forward from Yone, now it looks like everybody's going absolutely crazy. And eight, oh my god, they ignited that Ezreal too. He's gonna have to back, hopefully he does live. It looks like he popped his own heal to do so. He's taking minion yeah. aggro though, he's taking minion aggro. Oh. <sighs> Nerve racking. Is he gonna back on a no, he's not. Um so they essentially traded so WWW got dragon there. Um they no, no, essentially no, 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 no. Serenity did. Serenity was Oh Serenity Lilia. did. Okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. Came they back came in. back with Lilia. Yep, so Lilia so Serenity traded no, they so they came out ahead because they yeah. lo only lost one uh one, one for one and they uh yeah. One for one and Drake right there. <laughs> that was good. Definitely. Yeah, early drakes matter a lot. I mean, we're gonna see about this uh, this Urgot Trindamir. Urgot's kind of looking a little scary. Morgana's got a, a kill under her belt, so um, and er honestly, early uh, money on Morgana feels really, really good on support because um, Morgana actually could do a, a surprising amount of damage. Yeah, Swagger just gonna hit up Dash L right now. Gonna drop the yeah. ultimate onto him. Gonna pop the W Ooh. right in the middle. Look how much damage oh. they are doing. If that E hits, it's all over. Swagger oh, showing us why Dude. he is Swagger for 2069. Oh, he is so good. With a name like Swagger, you know he's gonna drop some planes and plays in River. Like, yeah. come on, that was great. He just knew. He's like, this is. He knew where everyone was in the map. He's like, yeah. I, I could, I could, kill I could take this right, right now. now. Mid lane's pushed up. 
You know, he's got pressure. He knows that Udyr's only level 5. Not hitting level 6 in the middle of this fight because they're in the river. Just good stuff from him all around. And top lane. Yeah, that's... He's becoming a little abusive. Though. We're looking at it in terms of gold. It's a thousand two hundred gold difference. Yeah, yeah. And as a, I mean, as someone who's played a lot of top lane, I can say that I really would not want to be in uh, Trindamir's shoes. Um, I mean, Trindamir for for sure um, can can do well in late game, um, even if he's a little bit behind in money. But the gold difference is starting to look a little scary. Um, 2-0 uh, on that Urgot with definite, yeah, like you said, farm. the farm difference is getting a little long. We're right. seeing some things come out around Dragon. I don't think there's going to be a play there, or a Baron, or... Harold? Yeah, no, you got there. I got you, I got you there, uh. <laughs> yeah, got there eventually. Urgot also trying to get somewhere. It looks like away from everybody else, but he's able to absolutely oop Eater. He makes it a one-on-one, -on -one and the minions are helping him. Here comes Swagger trying to make it a two-on-one. -on -one. Looks like Swagger's just going to move focus over to the Herald. This you're gonna poke down Jin right here. The really strong pick in the meta right now, Jin is. Uh, yeah. And he's doing it right. Yeah. He's CSing even with, with Ezreal here. Jin is definitely like a strong pick. I think Ezreal's. Uh, I think the bot lane in general is pretty fine. Like Jin, Lulu, Ezreal, Morgana. Um, those are those are fine picks. Um, as far as like top lane, Urgot's really. The uh, last leg is really showing up today. Um, kind of going like one v two and and walking away with kill. Um, oh, we're seeing gonna drop the open right now. They're gonna go from the mid lane. It's a lot of damage coming out, and it looks like the kill is gonna go over to Ho right there. That's pretty big for them. Looking at the gold spread now, we're almost up yeah. to 3k. It's about 2.7. They're doing a lot of damage onto Jin right here. Lulu's still only level five. Yeah, you really. I mean, we talked about win conditions for WWW, and um, for sure, this is still the early game. Um, but as far as your win conditions go. Um, with your with what champions you have to work with, mm -hmm. I mean SE is kind of doing uh, <laughs> doing exactly what they want to be doing. I mean they have the the top laner ahead in a place where, you know he's not really gonna lose a one v one um, to Trindamir anytime soon, uh, and you have a mid laner who's you know getting some gold in his pocket, picking up a kill. I mean great great play by Swagger to to lock that in with the ultimate coming from from uh, Lucian. For sure, for sure. And, and Ezreal now on his sheen and has the the tier, so he's building towards uh, what I assume is um, Divine Sunderer. We will see what he does end up going, but I would assume that that sheen is building into that right there. Um, top lane, we had a lot of different people talk in the chat about what he could go. People talking about Stridebreaker being super, super strong on him. Um, I am interested into which route he goes to because Udyr's on that Herald right now um, and, and can come up top pretty soon. Maybe affect some things. Last the game, can take a tower shot? He has the shield. Yeah, but up. who cares? Yeah, he, he does not. He doesn't. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, a tower shot? Give me two more. Give me like, two more. I'm ready. <laughs> make any... I'm chill. Yeah, I mean... Dragon just spawned. It is a mountain drake, meaning that soul is either ocean or cloud. Yeah. Yeah, and I think SC is doing the right thing by moving in early here. Yeah. Um, they're they in a position it. where they can just take this. We got four on. Uh, they've got great vision. It's there. almost gone already, and and Udyr's yeah. nowhere near. And they're gonna take the second Drake of the game. However, on the other side of it, Udyr does have Harold. The flash wave from Lulu is gonna keep them safe. Fluffy Foo is safe, but it looks like their counterpart, Marcus the Go, is running for his life. He is going to be able to get out of here, I think, even though the E from Swagger does hit and he gets that extra stack on his Dark Harvest. Yeah, and I think that at this point in the game, um, S uh, Serenity Esports is really showing us that, hey, we are a fives team. Um, we've played uh, fives together before. We've been in LBLCS for a little bit now. Um, you know, probably done some scrims in the preseason. And uh, it's paying off. Like they know when to rotate for those dragons, which I'm I'm really glad that they're yeah. uh, they're kind of working as a team and they're they're looking like they they move towards dragon as a unit. It's not right. like one person. It was four people person. converging, you know, unilaterally with each other, being a team, and that's important yeah. to see, especially in the economy league here, when, when you know that really team play and team fighting is the essential way to win with that communication. Yeah, it's it's like you gotta have a little bit of that high vibe mentality, kind of, when you're yeah. playing fives. You have to really be in sync with each other and making these decisions together, um, which they're they're doing a really good job. It's paying off, um, and that combined with like 
you know, some some pressure in the uh, in the solo lanes really kind of puts them in a nice, comfortable spot. Um, and the game for sure is never never over at this point. Um, things can flip very quickly. Talk but... about flipping things. Urgot might flip some people in the future. He also went Gore Drinker. Yeah. So this Urgot wants to get in the middle of the fight, and he wants to dance around, baby. He is ready to just play and play and play and try to trade as much as he can uh, and pop all that healing down. He almost has his top turret gone. It's going to be 14 minutes now, so he's not going to be able to get that last plate. Oh, is he? Is he? Is he? Is he? No, oh, not quite. It was very close there. But still, I mean, he's got a full item um, in his pocket with boots finished. Um, Tindermere is just try still trying to get there. Um, he's got the gore drinker. Yeah. Um, he's looking, you know, his his farm is definitely in a good spot. He's 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 looking like he's a uh, he super he's been... strong right now. And Swagger is invading. Like he's it. three levels up on I like the aggression here. A smite from Udir comes out onto the wolves. He's, he's gonna have to run for his life. Oh, she's gonna go all the way in. Oh my lord, the flash to forward. Swagger Love is absolutely it. bonkers on the Lilia. Yeah. I'm not giving this hit. I, I don't want. I'm banning it next game. I'm banning it next game. I don't want, <laughs> if I'm Udyr, I'm like, oh, we're banning Lilia next game. Yeah. I said it right there in comms. Yeah, Lilia was someone who's like proficient on it. It could be just like terribly annoying because like Lilia could just dive in and out. She's yeah. very quick on her feet. Um, and I really like the aggression uh, come like that's why yeah. I love watching economy like there, there's just some great aggressive plays and like this team is showing that the aggression is gonna pay out sometimes it doesn't but there's when they pay off right now here in the top lane and even in the middle lane too Mobino oh. going all the way forward but taking a lot of damage from Ho. He does not have his ultimate, but he does have his flash ignite. Will he be able to get out of it? It looks like Swagger is here to help, and they are going to be able to take him down in the top lane. They're able to take down Trinomir as well. Urgot also gets the tower. The ultimate from Obito misses. Can he finish him off? It looks like he can. So Lucian falls, but it's a one for three overall across the map. Yeah, it's like you talk about loving aggression, and then the player's like, okay, we're going to show you more. And they did. Um, but un unfortunately for WWW, it, it, the aggression came out in favor of uh, Serenity Esport. They did lose um, one member uh, in, in all of that uh, craziness that happened, but yeah. both plays in top and mid resulted in uh, Ergot looking a... Uh, Looking like he's gonna go down, uh, going for this tower. Yeah, he's um, gonna take this next tower as well. Basically, he can't punish it even. He just takes yeah. it so fast. The Lilia's behind them right here. I think they're gonna see another play down in the bot lane as WWW is gonna start to run for their lives, but Lilia's gonna smack him down. Another bind is gonna connect, and Ezreal's gonna pick up the kill onto the Lulu. So it looks like both Marcus the Goat and Fluffy Foo are going back to the fountain. And I'm gonna have to spend some money if they have any. Awesome. Yeah, we talked about synergy. That's that's some synergy right there, making plays together. I think we're going to start seeing now that top lane has kind of been knocked down a bit. We're going to see Urgot. He's already been rotating in. I'm um, just going to snowball that lead, hopefully, into uh, the mid lane. We'll see if he runs to top lane or looks to go to Dragon, then TP, or vice versa. Um, either way, I expect Serenity Esports. I mean, they've been kind of, they time their backs out. I expect them to move on to this Dragon uh, as a unit that like they have been. Yeah, and they're, they're looking pretty good, and it is Ocean Drake, which is, is definitely the preferred soul to pick up, basically Another for any friend. team. Thank you so much for the follow, to Shady. Appreciate it, my dude. Yeah, I like that, um, that, uh, WWW is being a little bit more proactive with this dragon, kind of getting yeah. there before uh, Swagger's together. gotten there. Maybe a slight uh, mistiming as far as backs go, but even so, Serenity does have three members around that area, so it's not... Without Yone there, um, it's not like they can, you know, uh, WWE friend. can really go for a play here. Um, and, you know, the differences between blue side and red side, the red side does have that easy access to the, the dragon pit, which is always nice. It looks Seeing like it is going to be pretty cleared out by the side yeah. of Serenity. They're, yeah, they're I think waiting. WW is treading lightly. I think they're, yeah, but they're waiting for a mistake. They're waiting for someone to be out of position. They're waiting to collapse on them. And I, yep. in the meantime, Urgot's pushing the top lane. It looks like they are going to try to find, this is a 5v4 technically. Urgot does have that teleport. Oh, the Yone goes in. Can they finish him off? They can. Udir's going to finish off that Morgana. <laughs> oh, but Udir and Yone and Lulu all pay oh. the price for it. And Urgot comes in just in case, but I don't think it was even necessary as four for one and the Drake over to the side of SES. Just solid stuff. Yep.
the picture has been slowly been painted, but I think the drawing's looking uh, a little bit more clear um, yeah. as far as as far as those things go. Um, yeah, I mean that that looks really good for SE. Uh, you know, 20 minutes in, they're looking uh, looking almost 10k uh, 10k ahead. Um, yeah. Three dragons under their belt, uh, slowly getting this mid mid turret down. Uh, last leg eight, doing a great job on rotations, trying to affect the rest of the map, helping Huey. Uh, you know, and we didn't. You know, like we said, they didn't have a tank. Um, but they're kind of saying, well, we don't need a tank if we can play like this. You know, um, and that Urgot's gonna be pretty hard to kill right now. Yeah, and they're actually taking away the jungle as well, denying the shell even more CS as they're on their wolves right now, and Leah's gonna spot them out, try to provide a little bit more pressure. The spot tower still hasn't fallen, but I'm expecting it to fall any moment now, as Jin can only hang on for so long. Evdingus, thanks for the 100 bits, I very much appreciate it, and so does all of the LBL CS and Gales. And a really nice black shield there, block that, that death lotus from the Jin. Yeah, I think the bot lane's been playing uh, really well um, on on both sides. Honestly, it's kind of one of those things where they've sort of handshaked uh, in terms of their picks um, in the way that bot lane's going to carry out, and they haven't really been super aggressive. Um, but that's kind of fine, um, more so for SE than WWW. Um, they've been able to pick up some kills um, through jungle ganks and through uh, dragon. Um, and we're gonna see. Yeah, but Nash um, trying to do a lot of damage on Ho right now, but Ho has a really solid item, able to do a lot of damage. He's gonna flash right with the ult over the death lotus, doesn't connect. Ooh. He's gonna escape with the skin on his chin. He's yeah, that was close. The that back. This might be a kill. Should have the ultimate, he's gonna go in with it, an ultimate from Morgana is gonna follow the ultimate from, actually, Mobino's doing a lot of damage, can he escape though? He's gonna take another tower shot and he will go down in the end, the kill goes over to Morgana, that's a double kill for her. They were able to pick up Ezreal though, which can be important, Urgot still pushing up in the top lane and Tridimir's dead. Yeah, I mean, I like the aggression, I'd say overall, maybe a little misguided, um, because Urgot is still on the map, still pushing him through top lane. Um, winning a side lane. It's kind of crazy the games where you get uh, this kind of flip like lopsided map where like top lane is being pushed in so far um, yet there's still turrets so many turrets up on the bottom side of the map like yeah. they haven't even lost their first tier um, bot side yet they've gotten the hit. Through yeah and, and it looks like Urgot's gonna say I don't care how many you throw at me I'm ready to fight every single one of you. Bring it on all five. I've wow. taken down one. Urgot. He's looking for the second to take it down. He's already used the Gorge Runner, but he takes two. Takes two in a wow. 1v5. Yeah. Almost four. Um, Almost four. Yeah. Yeah, that's I don't I mean what do you what do you say to a man that just what do you say to a player? I type in the chat, that, I say, like, I'm banning her god <laughs> next game. That's what I type in. I just, just I, 1v5. I enter and I say I'm banning Urgot next game. Think about your next champion. I mean, if you're an economy team right now, you're like scouting this game. Right. You're looking at that Urgot and you're like, I'm not going to let it happen. Yeah, that's not a curse. And I think, also, you got to remember, they have to switch sides. It's a two block if they take this Baron here. And, you know, where do you want to give your counter? Either mid or top, I'm thinking right now. Uh, yeah. Probably in the top lane, especially if you have somebody like this who can play champions this well on Urgot. The other thing I do fear, though, is you know you're gonna give the enemy jungler somebody who CSs at a really high caliber the way Lilia does. I mean, look at the CS, the 75 difference, uh, you know, way up in gold has a 700 sh gold shutdown. Uh, has got 3k total more gold than him. Top and jungler are really crazy this game. Yeah. Yeah, we shouldn't forget about the Lilia. I mean. <laughs> uh, that's there's a lot of gold there, um, a lot of money there, and uh, Swagger's putting it to good use. Um, have, has been really on point, um, being where they need to be uh, on the map. And if I were them, I mean, Swagger is a tough person to ban though. Yeah. Um, I've, I've, I've I look looked at a champ, champ pool. pool. It's deep. Yeah, it, it's it's deep and it's all over the place. So it might be tough for WWE to ban um, Swagger. Uh, it may be better off putting bans in that top in the top and mid lane um, and not really oh, worrying too much go, about can the... get absolutely oh, blown up by Ho right the there. Catch. So much damage once you get Kraken Slayer and your second item, which he's gone for the blades. I mean, he has got no cooldowns on his, his normal spells. 
I mean, they can look for the steal here, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Um, I think this will just go over to Lulu right here. Swagger's so gonna be able to up with that yeah. smite. Lulu did try to throw a spell. In I there, would love to see that, dude. If Lulu got Ergot's that, cheap. that would've been, that would've been so hype, though. Uh, <laughs> has he earned it yet? Has he earned Urgot yet? When he pentakills. When yeah. he pentakills at any point in the year, I'll, I'm gonna give him a special tag in the Discord. I'm gonna give him Urgot, <laughs> and I'll put it right yeah, on. Definitely him. like on the right track uh watching this game definitely on the right he's track he's definitely in some type um, of ascension but as he reached yeah. the god level i don't know i'd like to see some one three one with baron here personally um or something of that of that matter uh they can definitely look to take down some towers they might get caught out in the bot lane as far as sc speaking goes speaking of getting caught um, out it looks like we'll exodia is the one that's gonna follow through with that as host yeah. picks up the kill two in the bot lane against the three i think they still probably have the advantage oh here's the fourth though and udia runs in a nice use of the zonies right there to block mobino will they go down gale does go down in the end and oh my goodness ezreal is, is hopping for their life i don't know if they can stay alive and it doesn't look like they can but Top lane is in trouble because they are marching down with two people that can absolutely shred towers, and they're going to do just that. They take down the first one down there in the base. Can they finish the game? It looks like Yone is back, but I don't know if he can do anything. He's three levels below this Urgot. He's an absolute Chad. He's looking for more kills. He's bursting them all down. So much damage from Ho as well with that item. Oh my god, the shell trying to oh dash away god. now. Oh, he just goes in. He says, I don't care. Oh. I'm taking you all down. This is a 3v5, and we're taking it all the way. Dak to the honey hive, baby. Take them all down. A really good ultimate there from Exodia to keep him alive for a bit longer. Or got down a little bit of trouble, but he's gonna pull it. Oh. Him here. He takes him out. He's looking for his third kill. He gets it. Now it's Marcos the goat trying to run away. He's able to for a moment. My my screen is frozen, it's so excited. Mine is also frozen. Our computers were overwhelmed with excitement. It was too much excitement. Game. It, it was, was too, too much, much excitement. I gotta Couldn't imagine that it. the game's over if the game froze. I I would bet on that. Because I feel case. like we just got kicked out because um, the game ended. Probably. And if that's let's, not true, let's, we're gonna find out. Let's assume. Let's assume that. Oh, but uh, yeah, I like the quick. swagger shows up there and's like, I want to be part of the party. And <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know? it does look like the game uh, yeah. did end, and yeah. it does look like the victory went over to the side of Serenity Esports, picking up the first win in this series. Look at the damage that Urgot did so so much. Yeah. Insane, absolutely insane. That's a lot of damage. And I mean, Lilia and Lucian damage charts look pretty pretty yeah. wild as well. I mean, Crazy. bot lane looks kind of like how you'd expect it with the, the handshake that was going on down there. Yeah. Um. But yeah, that's a, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, just a lot of things to think about going into this next phase where they're going to switch sides. Uh, we are going to have Serenity now on the blue, WWW on the red. So draft will be a little bit different. We're going to hop into that pro draft pretty soon. Um, I'm just waiting for the the link and the invite here from one of the captains if they've created the game. And if not, I guess I'm going to have to. That is how it goes sometimes. Um, I will Never say, afraid. like, towards the end of that game, um, it's like when you see a play... When you see a play that involved the players being decisive and going for kills, um, when they were running down and attacking the um, Morgana and the Udir, like looking for a pick, um, like obviously the play wasn't great because they lost too much top um, because of it. But what I will say is like that kind of play where they're like, no, we need to go in, we need to match these players, we need to all in. Like if I saw stuff like that maybe a little earlier. Um, it might have looked a little different, um, but we'll see. We'll see how they adapt to game two. I think for sure, draft needs to get some adjustments, um, some minor adjustments. But um, Serenity, I mean, they're looking like a team that uh, wants to show up. Yeah, I think that Serenity Esports is. You know, they, they've played in this league before, and not only have they played, but they got better every single game they played last season. Now they're here. They've had an entire offseason to practice. They've, they've gotten new players. They've revamped their squad. They've got a coach. They, they think a lot about draft, and, yeah. and they're ready to come in here and say, hey, you know, we're only going to get better. Yeah, I mean, Waffle's saying maybe hold the first pink Trindamir. I, I'd agree with that. <laughs> I think that's a pretty safe bet. And draft is kind of one of those weird things that if you're like, I don't know if WWW has played 
a ton of like fives. Maybe they've played in other leagues. Maybe they've played in Clash. But draft is one of those weird things that you don't really learn it in solo queue. Um, right. You don't learn it in norms, really. Um, drafting is different in competitive. Um, pick a pan phase is different. So it might be one of those things where like they've underestimated um pick and ban phase and like maybe haven't thought about it in a way of like thinking about what they're going to pick first what they're going to counter pick like what advantages does blue side red side have in draft and in game and how they can use that to their best advantages so i think some of it is just learning you know you have to make mistakes or you have to mess up once in a while to correct those things and that applies in the game and it applies in draft um so there's definitely been some mistakes i saw some good things um and i'd like to see like them adapt and like we saw earlier today um you know you can always come back game two and really really show them uh show them what you mean i mean we saw it earlier today so mm -hmm. we might see no, that's that's super true i mean we did see a full uh, you know, it's just switch in, mo not just momentum, but just, you know, the understanding of the macro and, and the micro playing. Like, you know, game one, sometimes you don't warm up for. And then game two, you're already warmed up because you have that game one. So we can see a total change in, in everything. Um, hopefully we can get this, this second game going. I, I created a lobby. And I, I don't see any of the previous captains online, which is worrying me. Hmm. It's also fun that I don't see them because it's confusing me. Although I don't like to be confused for too long. Yeah, I mean, confusion is frustrating. Uh, they might be testing ping. They're testing doing a ping test. Okay, ping tests. Yep. That's okay. They're doing ping tests you know, because fine. they had someone that had a, a ping issue yeah. last game. So it looks like I have been messaged that ping tests are going on. Um mm -hmm. Totally fine to do that in between games. Obviously, you have like 10 minutes-ish to, to really reacquaint yourselves um, and, yeah. and get ready again for game two before you move into yep. it. Especially, you know, if, if you win or if you lose and you need that break, take it. Because if yeah. you win, you want to resell yourself. Okay, come back down. Yeah, we won, but it's not the whole series kind of thing. And if you lose, it's like, hey, it was just one game. So I'll go take a breath. Uh, yeah. You know, get a drink, relax, get a nice yep. cold coriander, your official sponsor of the LBLCS, Splash into the Beast. Um, there's a lot of things that you, <laughs> there's a lot of things that you can do in between the game, and, and usually resetting the mental is important. Yeah, I mean, checking the ping, just making sure everything's good, and like even if you're not doing that and it's like a normal game, like that five minutes in between time where you're like, hey, I'm just gonna go grab a drink of water and just like you know yeah. reset for a second is is always really great. That's something that I've always done in the lblcs is like after a game you know just like walk out of the room you know kind of like you get that little like room difference the mental reset go yeah. grab a glass of water you know chill out and then start thinking hey what do we do right what do we do wrong what can we you know jump back in with a fresh mindset which is tough to do um and i hope we see we see it happen for www and as far as strategy esports go i hope they kind of look at the game and say all right we think that they're gonna based on how it goes you know they might see predict that they're going to get banned out on Lilia or Urga. Um, so start thinking about draft and start thinking about game and how how they want to continue winning. Um, but because they just won, a, like they sh showed some strong picks, you know, um, they might get banned out on different things. And sometimes you look at, through an OPGG and it doesn't tell you the full story. And all of a sudden, you know, what they're actually best with is shown on the Rift where it might not be shown in OPGG. Right. Uh, and, and we're going to see if they have different things that they are deciding to do. Um, it, it looks like we do have everybody lining up on the correct side so far. I hope that I don't have to make the pro draft, but I feel like often in life things are bestowed upon me in which I must prevail. Uh, and so I will. I will create a pro draft for these these two glorious, lovely, extremely cute. Sometimes you teams. are bestowed honors in which you do not ask for, and That's that is just is. how life goes. That's um, what it is. I'm gonna switch screens see... right now so that no one else can see. I see a pro draft link. I oh, do. Looks like oh, spectrum. that's even better because now what I made, I don't have to send to anybody, and I like that a lot more than me having to send things to people. <laughs> All right, so what is, like, what would you say? Well, we'll wait maybe till we get into draft before we start discuss discussing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. 
Did you just? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, I feel like you had a brain aneurysm, right? Did you have a? Brain I did. Aneurysm? I did. I was confused by something happening in my computer window, which is fine now. I'm just silly. I'm just a silly. That's human. okay. It's okay um, to be silly. What, yes, I'm going to well, distribute okay. points. Stop if DMing pick, me. <laughs> if you're going to pick one thing to change in, let's say both drafts. Let's just even okay. though. SE1, what do yeah. you change? What do you adapt with on both sides? I mean, Urgot's gone. I'm not, I'm getting rid of Urgot and Lilia. I think those two uh, from the side of Serenity were too strong. Wardens need to take them away. That's how mm -hmm. I feel. Uh, do you feel similar? I feel the exact same way. <laughs> okay, yeah. so that's what i'm doing if i'm on the side of www and if i'm on the side of and i have to know i have to switch them on stream too and i have to do so many things i hate doing things um if i'm on the side of serenity i think i'm looking at what they just did and i'm thinking okay they really like melee champions they 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 feel like they feel comfortable on them how do we take away the best melee champions that we can um and, and you target focus a lane that you want to have the lead in because serenity esports got to have the full counter last game um and i think focusing lane that you want to be able to pick something that's pretty safe banning away the counters to it might become important especially second round bans so i would like to see something to do with that and it looks like they're already going to take away the olaf to begin with yep yeah, the Olaf's coming out, and that's uh, that's always a good ban, especially in economy. I mean, Olaf's one of those. Espe I mean, on someone that just popped off on Lilia, like you don't want that in the hands of. Uh... Oh no, it's the it was opposite sides. No, well, I, switched it. I switched it. I switched it. Switched it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, um, we are seeing the Urgot hovered here. I mean, I, I don't see a way in which it's not banned. Yeah, echo yeah. in response. Yeah, never like playing see... Urgot again. In, so in the chat that you guys can't see, everyone's saying never playing Urgot again, permaban. Just what they've said so far. Yeah, permaban. That is likely true. Uh, <laughs> that's kind of like how LDLCS goes. People pay attention. People scout. There's probably a lot of people in economy watching this game and watching yeah. these two teams. Whether you win or you lose, people are curious how they can take you down you know it's like that's how it goes that's how scouting goes that's part of the fun of it and the ergot's getting banned uh leblanc as well LeBlanc again yeah ho again taking away from that leblanc you know it's interesting banning people that have diverse champ pools and i always i always think this is super super interesting looks like you can take away echo and zach as well as well as lily i think that's a really good adaptation to the bands but you know when you take away someone's champion that you feel like afraid of but they play 55 champions i don't know if it's always as impactful yeah. you know what i mean oh yeah i mean when it comes to like my philosophy on on sort of how you deal with people with large champ pools is kind of have an idea of what sort of comp you're gonna play mm -hmm. uh, and what sort of comp you think they're probably gonna play it's easier to do that whoa um, once... speaking of throwing a curveball at us ramus was it banned is... away from www last game but they're gonna pick it up this game with the fist oh and ho gets his lissandra we saw him do it in the mm. all-stars yeah. after last season this guy's lissandra is nuts yeah I really also I just want to say I love the early pick Morgana. I think Morgana's a great pick. I mean, the, mm -hmm. there wasn't anything crazy, but we did see although they didn't get a ton of kills, we did see a lot of bindings land yeah. um for for Morgana. So for Serenity, that's looking like a great pick. It offers a lot of disengage. It offers pick Oh, it looks potential. like the Fizz was, was a random Sandra. pick. Hang on. Okay. What is the Fizz pick then? Is what I've asked. I need to clarify that. Whenever you have an error in ProDraft, always immediately type into chat what yeah. you actually meant to lock in so that nobody is confused. Um, it looks like Lux is clearly intentionally picked right there, was pushed and then locked in. Waiting to hear what that fizz actually was. Um, tell us who you meant. That's what you do. Um, as they're okay. looking to ban right now, it's okay that you picked the wrong thing. It's, it's totally yeah, fine. It happens. What? It's Silas. It's Silas, they say. Okay, it's Silas. That's fine. Oh, uh, okay. There's a there's an issue. Okay. Um, okay. So we're getting a restart. You know, let's. We are low budget. Yep. So we are kind of yep. filling in that role. And let's remember too, um, that you know, these teams either haven't been with us before or haven't played, you know, fives and dealt with pro draft. 
bef- um, before or haven't dealt with it in a while. So yeah, things are going to happen as long as you're communicating it and like can like quick decision kind of figure it out. And the other thing too is just talk to the other team like, hey, yeah, we picked the wrong thing. I know that we're you know we're so much further in draft. Blah blah blah. Ho has already created a new link for us to come into. I mean, these guys are clearly talking and they respect each other, and that's super important yeah. when you go into it. Um, so we're going to be able to go into this this new spectator link. And the other thing too is just like be like, hey, it feels unfair if we continue from here. I mean, you can be like, yeah. okay, we get that because yeah. you you seem to have countered the fizz with that Lasagna. If you accidentally so pick a champion and like you right away say no that was this right then, no, that was like, it works yeah. but yeah if not then the draft keeps going and then it kind of gets messed up because then the bands get all confusing and it picks so you know if you can quickly do it awesome if you have to restart it like they did um that's okay too uh as long as you're communicating i think both these teams are doing a doing a good job about trying to trying to be respectful here yeah um, no for sure and, and- Props to both of them for restarting this draft. And they're going to restart. So I, I messaged them all, too. I said, yeah, same exact six starter bands, and then you may pick mm-hmm. anything. Because one of the things that feels stupid to allow is to be like, hey, they clearly were going to go with this setup for this game. You cannot yeah. just now ban those three champions. Um, yeah. So same exact bands, and then from there they can move on. I would expect, I think, still Serenity to pick that Morgana early, that early first pick of Morgana. I think that makes a lot of sense. Um but we could see that change, uh, and and that's okay. Yeah, um, and I will say, like, when you're coming into pro draft and drafting in general, like, you're a cat. Like, let's say, hey, you're a new captain. You're playing in fives. You're worrying about all these players. You're worrying about scheduling. You're doing all these things, and then all of a sudden, they're like, hey, we have to use this pro draft thing that you've never used, and like, it's glitchy sometimes, and like, there's certain things you have and, to know to oh, use Oh yeah, it, it like doesn't always lock it in and, the champion. Yeah, and like, you know, so it, it could be a lot to like, and, and it's like counting down, things aren't locking in, things are like selecting wrong, like, you know, it, it can be a lot all at once, so I definitely, you know, have a soft place, you know, in place in my heart for, uh, for people dealing with pro draft because sure. I've dealt with it many times. Yeah, and, and it this is going to get banned right now. I think the teams are probably talking amongst themselves. Okay, what are we actually going to do? How are we going to move forward from here? Morgana again picked up. I think that's the most appropriate yep. thing to do, especially since that was actually picked up during the last draft before Fizz was accidentally locked in. Mm-hmm. Um, so props to them for, for sticking true to that. I think that's really important from Serenity. WWW yeah. now going to actually be able to take their first pick right here. Um, and WWW seems to be a goddamn fan favorite. Lux is picked up first. That's the flex. That's a solid flex. Yeah. I think Lux is a good, a solid pick. I mean, I'm a big advocate for Lux. Um, there's a lot of utility in a Lux pick. There's, you can, Lux is one of those champions that can, in, in many ways, bend to what the composition wants her to do. Right. Um, she has similar to Morgana. There's a lot of pick potential. She has hard CC. She has damage. She can yep. go support Utility, and she can go mid lane. Shields, we are seeing a fiddle burst. of sticks. You've got it all. Fiddle which sticks I really is going like. to be locked in with that Lux. I'm assuming it's fiddle sticks. This is broken, says the shell. Wait, don't pick yet. I love this. This is fiddle equals Ramus. Okay. Fid is Ramus. It's easy to understand. They have eight seconds yep. now to pick somebody. They're going to pick the Ezreal. That's fine. There we go. That's Everybody's good. on the same Fiddle page. We're working madness. together here as a team. It's low budget I, as it gets. To be honest, I actually think a Fiddlesticks, like, uh, R2 makes more sense than Ram is, like, with Ezreal Mor- or with a Morgana pick. Mm-hmm. But that's just me. Um, but, hey, Ramus so that other work, thing too, in the virus. that we do bombs. mention is when you move forward. So they're going to take the Silas as well. So it's Ramus and Silas right there, not Fiddlesticks and Silas. Um... One thing um, that we do talk about, too, is that, like, if you... Okay, I accidentally picked Fiddle, but I meant Ramus. Now, if you wanted mm-hmm. to ban Ramus, or ban Fiddlesticks, rather, it's the picture of Ramus. It gets very confusing. Yeah, it's so, reversed. communicating yeah. as quickly as you can is always super important, because it doesn't confuse everybody. However, mm-hmm. it looks like things are working now. They're going to ban out that Lissandra away. I don't think it was even going to be picked nope. up, because I think it really was a natural Fizz counter. You know, it's a natural Assassin counter. So, yeah. That's gonna be banned away. But, Jin Lux banned away from the side of the. You know, line. Lissandra would fit great in some Morgana and Vi. I mean, that's a like of, yeah. the cla- that's a classic pick comp. So I think it's a good ban and taking it away. Um, 
is definitely definitely valid there. The gin takeaway is, is good. Yeah. Um, the ban on gin is, is smart. I think the gin pick takeaway is really important because uh, we saw them in bot lane was kind of going tit for tat down there there wasn't really a lead there was a lead only through the jungle coming down which was already determined earlier in the game so it wasn't really a, a forced lead through the laners in the bot lane yeah yeah we're gonna see something different coming out of www's bar bot lanes it's the senna picked up here which I, which i think is good i think it i think senna um definitely fits what i'm getting to see out of this bot lane um they don't seem to be like super flashy like aggressive playmakers they kind of want to farm up scale up a little bit it will be i think at this point we'd safe to assume lux is going to be the support which i think is a it's a great combo senna lux is mm -hmm. pretty safe scales up um and now they have a nice aggressive silas in the mid lane and mobino in chat too just reminding their team like hey if you're looking at this still remember that fiddle is ramus uh, really yep. just courteous stuff. Brand picked up. That looks like it's probably going to be in the mid lane here, though. Ho probably on that brand is what I'm assuming. Darius up in the top lane, mm. a really powerful threat. And it does look like they've taken my advice that I said in the middle of last game that they never heard. WWW going to save that last pick for the top laner, it seems. Uh, yeah. Gonna see and I mean, going up into Darius... Um, there's a lot of things you could do. I mean, Darius is one of those champions that if you've been playing for League for a while, you know what he does. He wants to kill you. Yeah. He wants to <laughs> He wants to win lane. Yep. Uh, and they go with the Shen. Shen is an interesting pick. Which, it's, not, it's not a counter. It's not not a counter. It, it's a pretty even matchup yeah. for the most part. You know, if you're looking at direct counters for a lane, you're picking something like Wukong or something like uh, a Pantheon into Darius, where you can negate a lot of damage or be a trickster or trade evenly. So uh, I think that the Shen being picked up is really good because I think, uh, very honestly, WWE's bot lane is, is pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, I think the Shen's solid. I mean, if you've been playing top lane for a while, you're going to kind of know how that matchup goes, um, which isn't a terrible matchup for Shen. Um, I personally don't, like, love it. I'd rather be on Dar's side, but Shen offers so much for a team. Like, sure, maybe it's not, like, the best pick into Darius because it's not, like, a counter pick. Like, mm -hmm. it's okay pick, but... It's okay, but then you've got an entire map that you can get to with an ulti. Like, come level 6, all of a sudden, Shen opens up, and you have a Silas uh, to play aggressive with. You have a Lux uh, and a Senna, in a lot of ways, to, like, CC. And then you have a tank now. You have Fiddlesticks. But, like, as opposed to that, I love <laughs> I love the brand pickup. <laughs> and I think that team is super aggressive-looking. Like, brand vibe, like, Darius. Well, the other like, thing too those is are some aggro picks. Other than maybe brand once you saw the silas they did a good job like i don't think darius is really that great for silas to steal because he doesn't get the extra stacks he doesn't have those stacks applied onto him so i think they did a pretty hey, good Brandall's job good but brandall's fine right yeah but like vial now silas isn't really deep unless yeah. he's super ahead that's not going to be too too useful i think morgana and ezreal are probably the two better ones to take if, if you ignore the brand for a second um so it's gonna be i'm very interested in how this silas is going to play into them what mythic they're going to choose to go. You see some Silas's um, opt for that Rift Maker, some even opt for the Leandries. You can see some even go for Luden. So I'm interested in what style they try decide to play and why, um, as well as where is this Ramus going? Where is this Vi focusing? You know, we saw a lot of focus on the Dragon from Serenity Esports last game. Where are they going to go this game? Yeah. I mean, we'll, it, it's all to say, I think swagger picking up the vi is is definitely really nice um it like you're saying as far as like ultis go for silas uh brand is like the only one that like looks enticing uh to echo you a little bit darius and vi is pretty like negligible as yeah. far as being a good ulti um like maybe you pick up the morgana ulti like that's definitely not a bad way to go um you can you can definitely do a lot there but i think brand is like the pretty obvious one to pick up um, as far as like playing with Silas, uh, I do like the Silas pick. Um, into Brand, I mean Brand has some issues in solo lanes too, though. Um, like I will say, like Brand is gonna you know be able to like outrange Silas in the laning phase, but Brand is often in the bot lane because of his his gank ability and because of his 
um, lack of utility in the mid lane. So we'll see how it goes. It definitely depends on junglers, I think, as far as mid lane goes. Um, like we saw last game, I think it's going to be a little bit of a callback to that where there's going to be some jungle attention going on mid and that's going to end up result either way in a lot of kills um, for the mid laners. A lot of, lot of talk in chat as well about the top lane matchup. Um, I will tell you, uh, very honestly, that it's a decently even matchup. It's a very much a skill matchup. Uh, what I saw last game, I'm going to give the edge to the Darius 100%. I do think Darius naturally in this matchup has a little bit of an edge on the Shen, but I think the Shen is infinitely more impactful in the actual macro of the game in team fights um, and yeah. can provide so much CC and coverage for their team, especially when you have a Ramus. You have like so many different abilities to taunt. And if you can make mm -hmm. it to the late game with a Senna, with a Silas, with a Lux, uh, you can definitely do a lot of damage and, and figure out uh, how to win this one. Um, Chen obviously is able to block some some abilities of Darius's. However, um, we're gonna see how they go because you play a lot of, against a lot of Darius's. Uh, you're a top laner, Dutch. Yeah. You play against a lot of Darius's, oh, yeah. and they run Flash Ghost, and they just run you down within the first two levels. You usually yeah. don't see that when you get to constructed fives, and it's because you have to take that teleport for the for the wave pressure. You have to take that teleport so that later in the mm -hmm. game, if the other teams decide to one four, you can match it, or or you can have actual cross map plays and, and affect things, or you can match the Shen ultimate down to the bot lane. So you probably won't see that. You'll probably see both top laners be respecting each other. However, Ur the Urgot one last game probably is going to play very aggressively on that Darius. Yeah, I mean, you don't really pick Shen to win game, like win lane. It's kind of like lose lane, win game kind of idea into Darius specifically. Like Shen for sure can win a lot of lanes, but into Darius, like probably not so much. So I don't think it's a bad pick. Um, I think you can disagree with that, um, but I don't think it's bad um, just because you're going to have that level six ulti. Um, what I do think is the way to win this game for um the side of www is through like silas i i i th i think you have to put focus on that mid lane um i think that's really where you can gank like brand is definitely susceptible to ganks um and your top lane and bot lane like top lane you gank it and Darius might just 1v2. <laughs> like, yeah. especially after he has like some items. Well, I mean, level, level six, one, like... Darius would win level one just against yeah, Shen. Like, so, I mean, it's... it just doesn't, like you, you just have to be smart at playing a Shen. You have to concede the early CS and realize that how you win the game through Shen, and I know this is lower elo, but how you win the game through Shen is macro. And, and it's not through yeah. beating Darius in lane. Whoever wins top lane, unless it's a stomp, it doesn't matter. As long, as long as he can farm up and sustain, it'll be okay. But, with that said, the last leg eight <laughs> did show some aggression and did show a lot last game. So I'm curious to see how the Darius goes. Um, and as far as like uh, Ramus, uh, like where you can gank, um, I think bot lane is kind of going to be another one of those like handshake matchups. Like I don't like when you see Ezreal, Morgana, Senna, Lux. Like sure you can hit out bindings and snares and stuff like that from from both sides, but I don't think there's like a ton of you know kill pressure there. This is what I want to see. I want to see Darius and Shen constantly kill each other, like and no one survives it. Like, Shen kills Darius, and then Shen bleeds out over and over again so that chat doesn't know what to say because the matchup is completely even. That's what I want, deep down. Deep down. Deep down. I also want another Ice Cold Coriander, so if you don't mind, no, it takes two to You ten. have that right. Thank you. <laughs> takes two. Takes two. And I'll have a, uh, a sip for that. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of commotion in chat. Uh and that's good. I think we need commotion. Takes two. Thank you, Prezi. Uh, uh, Ruffian is uh, uh, he's supporting his, his boy Buggle. Uh, that's always good. Um, but, you know, differences in ideas happen. And, like, there's definitely differences in ELOs and players happen. A, a matchup that, like, if you go in, into um, ProGG or whatever, like, websites, like, you'll always see, like, the matchups, like, win percentages and different ELOs, like, always shift around and they, they flop. 
Um, as far as skins go, I, uh, I'm liking that brand skin. Uh, although it's always cooler. It's one of those skins that's way cooler in the splash art than it is in game. Um, Yellow Jacket Shen, I own that skin. Pretty basic, but it, I have a, a soft spot for it. Um, Silas, solid, uh, True Damage Senna, looking good. Uh, Frosted Ezreal and Project Vi with the uh, with the Darius skin too. Very ferocious shoulder on that Darius. I would not, I would like, if I was in like Iceland or something and I was just going through the mountains with my sheep or cattle, you know, and Darius jumps out of the, off the rocks and goes for me, I'd be scared. Um, but but like likewise, that Silas is uh, a little bit of frosted like theme going on here um, from some of these picks. Uh, the Ezreal, the Silas, and kind of the Darius too, all going for that winter winter vibe, which I which I really like. Yeah, it's okay um, to go for a wintery vibe. It's also okay it's... to Another crack an ice cold coriander with me down here. Yeah. Snow prisoner, thanks for the vibe. thanks for the follow, my dude. Is it Dark Harvest Darius? No, it's Conqueror. Chill. Chat, what do you- Why do I read chat? I shouldn't read chat. They're saying insane things. They- They sometimes do that, but we- But you know what, Buggle? I love we it. also say insane things sometimes. So- I have never said- It's the yin said and yang. It. <laughs> 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 Ooh, like this level one. Looking- Looking, uh, spicy. It did not result in anything, but I appreciate the effort. I really do. I'm at one minute, 36 seconds. I just wanted you to know that. I don't know where you are. Oh, I'm a little behind you. I will skip forward. Yeah, you skip on forward. Get up with uh, us. Low budget. Uh, low budget moment here. I, I feel like I just loaded. Somebody, somebody allow Ninja Medic to say that. I love that. I love that, what he said in the chat. If someone's a mod in there, just allow it. That's a little bit better, but we I did want to allow the first thing you said. Mm. All right, I'll, I'm willing to do this with you. Um, two shots of coriander on. If you could guess who gets first blood. First blood. Yeah, I'll try to guess uh, too. Brand. I'm going Vi. Mm. I think Vi's gonna take first blood. That's that's. Fair. We both think the same team. Maybe we're both gonna be horribly embarrassed. Like those are the first two that are gonna Probably. die. Probably. I kind of said Brand because I talked about how how gankable he was and stuff like that earlier, and I'm like, well, I'm, I'm going to be wrong one way or another, and I'm going to be right maybe one way or another. Smart. Uh, so kind of covering my no, ass No, that's smart. Oh my god, yeah. we talked about White Ninja. He's in, the, he's in, he's in the community. He's right there. Dutch, he's right there. I see him. Right, right there. Two, two, we two. We talked about him on the two. podcast. We did. All good things. Oh, he's gonna yeah, slap we did a lot of people. Been a good time, and we're getting to see some of them play today. Um, uh, we've seen top lane looking spicy. Just definitely has that wave advantage, uh, and uh, some DPS there coming up from Darius. Yeah. Yep. Bot lane is not yeah. changed. 12 CS each, they're slapping each other, and then <laughs> healing it up. <laughs> yeah, these are things that happen in bot lane uh, sometimes, and I think that they are happening again and again uh, with these teams A little bit here. of a CS lead across the board, other than bot lane, though, for the side of Serenity, yet again, as they seem to be getting ahead in CS. Just, again, across the board. Uh, doing a really, really good job. You see Vi even counter-jungling right now. Exodia getting pushed under towers, so the tower is affecting some of his CS. Starius is doing a really good job just... Being uh, oppressive Buggle. as he can. You were right. You're so right. <laughs> oh my god, and it hits! Yes! Take two shots of coriander. Wait, are you ahead of me now? Did you see that before I did? I, I'm ahead of you now. Oh dear. 420. We've, we've switched. 421. We've switched 422. Swap. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go back in time. Oh, root onto this Ezra right time. here. He's gonna get hit by a little bit. Black Shield not actually blocking anything, but making Ezra feel safe at home. Sometimes I'm ahead, sometimes I'm behind. You never really know. I'm just seeing things how I see them. I don't know what Shane is, East Bay Jacob, if that's how you say your name. And if it's not, then I'm also <laughs> not ashamed because I don't know how to wow. say your name. Prezi with the four, two, four lots of zeros over there is my in the chat. I'm at 455, 456, just so we're on the same page. Okay.
I'm at five. Oh two. You're like four seconds behind me, but that's okay. I'll interrupt you more. That's fine. Yeah. I'll skip two seconds. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for the happy Canadian man. Thank you so much for playing that. I'm trying to, yeah, THC. You know, throw it back. Who THC? Waffles. Waffles. Toss it on in. Classic. Classic. I love it. Not a massive. We saw, I think, a little bit, bit more proactiveness from the side of Serenity in game one. Uh, and they've kind of like double backed and they've been more passive Ooh. now. Yeah, a little more reserved. Yeah. Thanks for the spin doctors there. I think it's Exodia. Getting pretty low. Actually has the taunt though. And if you can get Darius just a little bit close to the tower, if he takes one tower shot. Oh my god, the Q's gonna hit though! He's gonna flash into W! I think he's gonna bleed out. Goodbye, Exodia. May you rest in peace. His swagger now gets caught up here. Down by the dragon. I think he's gonna get forced away as Ramus is flying on in. It looks like this is a really Oh my god! Brand out of nowhere! He's gonna do so much damage. He's gonna pick up one kill, but I think he will go down at the end of it all. They do pick up Dragon for the side of WWW. And a one for one there, both mid laners falling. Yeah. Uh a lot a lot happening all at once here. <laughs> which is uh which is good to see. Good to see some explosion happening. Like as soon as you think it's gotten calm, um, it hasn't. <laughs> and uh plays top lane are, are looking uh looking spicy. Um definitely uh definitely a little getting a little bit lopsided. Um but nothing uh nothing is written over. Uh we're still uh still in the game here. Yeah, Swagger gonna clear out the top side of their jungle right now. Still has not used their fist might neither as Ramus. They're gonna very soon and absorb those jungle items. Both of them are level five, looking for that level six as soon as they can. They have really impactful team fight with level six, both of them do. Um yeah. and I think both of these teams, I think especially um the side of WWW can really play front to back with how their team is organized. I mean, Senna has a really good way to protect. So does Lux, everybody in the back line there, which is actually just those two, really. Um, you might see Silas up in front of them a little bit, but not as far in as Shen and, and uh, Ramis are. Top lane's gonna do a little bit of skirmish right here. Good damage there from Exodia, but he's gonna get slapped around. And if there's a Q from Darius here, he could heal up a lot. Oh, really good use. Oh, we got inside of it. Oh, Exodia. Really good mechanical play Very right there. Good. Tuck back in, but now he's against Swagger as well. Can he find a way to kill the last? Okay, he's getting hit by the Q. Knocked up and slapped around a little bit. Swagger doing as much damage as they can. The Hail of Blades really coming into effect right there as he cuts down the armor. He's going to drop the ultimate. Ooh. Oh, my lord. Ho with the yeah. assist. And Ho showing up just in case. Good rotation. Yeah, we're seeing a 2-0 on the Vi, which is really nice uh, to have some gold in your pocket. Um... I mean, Swagger has been, has shown a lot of ability to take gold leads and run around the map with them um, and just affect all sorts of lanes. Um, I mean, with that said, uh, I did like uh, what I was seeing out of Shen. Um, maybe got a little bit uh, caught out there, I guess. Yeah. Um, didn't quite have the vision on the map to be making, like sticking around and making those plays. But uh, I like seeing it out of Shen. Um, not really like, you know, f fighting back, not, not laying down and just... Just letting him No, him definitely. Yeah. I mean, he had a really good fancy feet there to tuck back in so he didn't get hit by the edge of that Darius Q, which is always super important. Um, mm -hmm. So he understands the, the champions really well, and he did a good job trading with him. He just, you know, he wasn't able to ward up because that was really the first time he had his wave pushed up. Uh, so yeah. he had never had a real opportunity to ward or to be aware where the jungler is. I'm sure they're trying to talk about it as much as they can in counts, but just unable to. Senna does have this ultimate available and could try to snipe Ezreal right now, he's super low. And actually Lux does too, and they're gonna go for it in the Ooh. bot lane, it must not have hit because we didn't channel back down too nope. quick. Oh, and Lux is gonna miss oh. too, oh no. Oh no, you hate to see it. A lot of damage oh, here man. onto Exodia oh, and on, oh my god, really good trade right there. He's able to hit back a little bit, use that grasp of the Undying. Here comes Vi, slapping them all up and how just roams with Vi. So <laughs> good communication. The communication is so good between these guys. Yeah. And Ho's doing a really good job juggling both sides of the map here. Like, roaming up top just in case. Roaming down bot to get some kills. Like... Oh! Yeah. I want everyone to know in chat, because we seem to be talking about it. The last time I had a Grand Slam at Denny's, 
was eight years ago and I threw it all up. I just want everyone to know. Yeah. I think it's time to confess. I did it. It's it's good to confess, brother. Thank you. It's important. Alright, so the game state right now, what do you see as the way to get to pull a lead? If you are on WWW, you say, well, we're, you know, a couple K behind, nothing too crazy. Um, we do have a dragon under our belt. Um, how can we make sure that the next dragon is ours? Communicate your warding, communicate your back timers. You know, how strong are you? Try to position yourselves in a proper way in the team fight. And basically, you know, communication isn't just who's close to you. It's your whole entire team. The jungler is down bottom top you're okay to push up and fight darius now or you're okay to back up and look for the ultimate for us just communication across the map trying to figure out okay how can we squeeze in a win because lux and senna can kill these guys they're doing pretty good yeah yeah no they're doing they're doing solid um bot lane is i mean like the, the differential in bot lane is nothing like too crazy uh, either way um it's like ezreal's slightly ahead in cs senna's got a kill um and Lux got an assist. Um, yeah, actually, Ram is going to find out Swagger right here, and Exodia's coming on in. The double taunt might come in a nice drag back from the last of the game. It's going to keep him there just for a second longer. Oh, he gets really, really low, though. Swagger dropping super low. Ram is coming back in. That's a kill for the Shen right now, but it looks like Brand does have the advantage. A nice ult is going to keep Ramus alive for a second longer. Ho getting... Oh, my God. He absolutely Ooh. deletes Mobino. Wow. Can Exodia get out? He's gonna go back in! He's looking for the brand! Can he find him? Oh, it's so much damage on him! He gets stunned up! He gets burned down with the flash oh. force! He's gonna find the kill! He's got the shield on him now! Can he run away? Oh my god, he's got enough healing! Can he escape? Oh he's, he's already lost oh it. God. Oh, the flash oh. forward! Oh my, oh my god! Wow. My blood really got up well there. That was... Whew. Yeah. Oh yeah that, was, that was a breathtaker right that there. I, I'm, I'm glad I almost spit out all getting. my coriander. <laughs> I'm glad we're getting some aggression out of this top side of the map. Yeah, that's what you need in this game. Whew. Well, that made me just have so much more res goddamn respect for Exodia. Holy shit, yeah. the man's a chat. Yeah. I take every. If I ever said anything bad about Exodia, I take it back. It's. Take it back. It, it, it <laughs> I take it all the way back. Vi doesn't have ultimate, so can't go and does have the black shield on them right now, but they're gonna burn right through it. A nice ultimate here from Lux means that Swagger's gonna drop super, super low. The heal from Ezreal does come out, and a nice ultimate from Senna's gonna tag one person, but not two. Oh, a huge Q from Lux is gonna hit on Aqui as well. Yeah, and that's like a great example of like why you pick Morgana in a team composition, though, um, because not only was the Morgana able to lay down the black shield uh, to stop the Ramus, um, but also threw down a Q right after, really protecting and, the teammates. And, oh um, my God! Oh wait, they didn't get it. Oh. <laughs> okay, <laughs> they did get it. No one stole it. I was, I was nah, a little nervous. No, that's fine. I was a little, little nervous. Little, little nerve wracking, but. But yeah, I like the Morgana pick. I do like the the priority that um, WWW has put on Dragon right now. Um, they've got two under their belt. Um, sure, they're like a little bit behind in gold, um, but they're they're in the game very much so because of Dragons right now. They've, yeah. they've seen the mistakes they made last season, uh, game and they've adapted. Um, they're saying, hey, we're gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna play for Dragons, we're gonna be there, we're gonna be on time, and we're gonna get them. And they've done it so far. They're yeah, they've done a really two. good job of it too. Um, and it looks like top lane, although I think at this point it is just Darius's lane to win. Uh, he has much more gold than him. He's doing a really solid jo job in the lane. Uh, it is going to matter that that has happened. Oh, I'm sorry for this the screen getting robbed right there by my alt tabbing. I'm trying to fix the, the letters. I got DM'd 16 times. Hey, the letters are kind of off skewed. And I said, hey, we're low budget. Give me a goddamn break for one minute. Like grinding my That team. is true we are low budget um but this this game is a little high budget um as far as the, the players playing right now um i think yeah, oh great like, flash there this... from lux she's gonna drop the ultimate it's oh. not gonna connect as you're doing a lot of damage right back oh but ramus is saying he is a ball of fury he's going Ready all the way in, but he gets more. blocked up for just a moment getting it close enough to ho he cannot he takes enough damage Lutana. to drop all the way down Ezreal picks up that kill now mobino trying to find a kill himself but he can't the ultimate's not gonna hit anybody it's gonna slide through the jungle Marcos the Goat, I think, has ultimate up very soon, but he does not have eyes on Ho and can't do much about it. Vi doing a good job taking away. Oh, I think Exodia is doing a little BM right there. 
taking away that tap. Yeah, I mean, from Kai. Ezreal is just a slippery pick, um, especially combined with like a Morgana. Um, really just able to lock it down. Um, we are seeing some action in the top lane. Though. Talking about lockdown, getting ulted right here. Exodia dropping Super Loner Tower. I assume he will just go down, and it does in the yep. end. Two and six goes his score. Is they are gonna drop? I think they had, they had to drop Harold there. I think they're almost out of time. Yeah. Yeah, they had to drop the Herald. Um, very clean, very clean gank out of uh, out of Swagger there. Uh, really good execution um, from both of those players. Uh, kind of just trying to snowball that lead. That's really like, what you really want to do with a Darius. Like you can't just leave a Darius like even in lane. It's like no, you gotta go, go put some attention. It's like the Darius might be up three kills, but no, let's 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 get a fourth on there, or let's get another kill on our jungler and get him some more gold. Get that lane snowballing, mm -hmm. um, so that they have to send two players right. in the Darius. Because when you're talking about dragon objectives, it's like, okay, dragons open up as soon as the other team has to send two players to deal with Darius. Right. So if Darius is in a place where you have he to can, send members. He can, yeah, he can basically make the other team alloc allocate resources towards him. You mm -hmm. can basically try to control parts of the map. So you want to go for the next Herald, send Darius to the bot lane, try to get people to try to converge around him. You want to go for the next Dragon, send him to the top lane. So things like that are really, really important. And he is full and low right now with the huge shutdown. And speaking of shutting down, both junglers trying to shut each other down. To shell a lot lower of a level, but he gets the shutdown on him. He used to use the smite to get a little bit more health. And all of a sudden, buys the one in the tricky place. A nice flash over. He's going to keep him safe. He's going to queue to the blast cone and get away for a moment. Dodges the Lux Salt just by walking forward and Brand zoning everyone away. Yeah, I mean, I'm surprised Swagger was able to get out of that. That was, what, four four members, but um, well done for uh, for Exodius, like, hopping in with the, the channel and yeah. trying to keep, keep his jungle alive. That's what I was talking about, too. Like, that's what WWE needs. If they have the good communication, they can start to turn stuff. They're looking for mm -hmm. damage on to Ezra right oh, now. Oh, nice Lux Binding. Yeah, if they have that communication, it's going to make the difference. Unfortunately, they weren't able to pick up the kill there. Yeah. But as far as, like, playmaking and being on the same page and, like, helping out your team, um, I, I like what I saw there. Uh, it's definitely definitely good. But Swagger just able to kind of, like, out, outplay a little bit there. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, didn't uh, didn't quite get the Lux ult down. Um, but uh, but it was pretty close. No, and, providing uh, pressure constantly. Same, same level as Ho right here. Darius is coming in the backside. Oh my God! Look at the damage those two Ooh. do together. It was like it's like they didn't even sweat. Yeah. <laughs> they, they just they, they ran. And the ultimate is gonna get dropped onto him. The passive's is gonna connect as well as all the Darius damage. Another kill wow. goes over to him. He's five zero and three. Yeah. This man. I mean, no, we've hyped up Ho a lot recently. Yeah. But... We have, the but last of the still, is this uh, this this uh mid top uh, synergy is looking pretty good. The last legate really uh really dishing out damage in both these games. Like this is a top laner you're gonna have to a watch nice out for. Nice binding here on Lux. I think she is gone, and Ezreal's gonna be the one to pick up the kill. A nice heal to keep Morgana alive. Gale appreciative that one. Oh, it's, it's, it makes you sad when you see it that close, I think that she actually has advantage right here, although the dragon is picked up for the side of Serenity. They can't get the hands on the third one, WWW. Uh, I'm just unable to. And they're actually going to drop the Herald down here in the bot lane as well. Yeah, Herald's going down. We're going to see uh, see how Goat reacts. Um, I don't uh, well, think they Well, he gets stay. reacted by getting <laughs> grabbed and slammed onto the ground. Swagger 420 saying, you're going with me, boy. Yeah, perhaps maybe need a little bit of backup uh, to, to hang around there, um, or maybe pull back to second turret. Michelle trying to um, find a kill on to Gale is unable to, gets binded up immediately and followed up by CC from Swagger. Oh, Ezreal doing a lot of damage, but here comes Ixodia, and here comes Bovino slapping everybody around. Oh, look at this ultimate! Oh, he slams oh. him down! Three kills immediately go over to the side of WWW. <laughs> One kill for each W they have. Wow. Getting uh getting interesting down there in the uh, the bot lane. I I perhaps would like to see a little bit more uh, synergy that we were seeing out of WWW earlier in this game. Um, just as far as like going in at the same time. But yeah, that I mean, this Silas like even without a ton of gold yeah. is able to ditch out damage. I mean, that's a Silas. Not only that, but like this Shen's taunts are nuts. This guy's absolutely crazy. And speaking of crazy, it's crazy how much damage you're able to do to Ramus right there. Is he's melted. Yeah. Okay, I mean, 
just just tread water. I think what's happening here is we may be seeing a little bit of like frantic playmaking because they they're it's my favorite kind. I mean, you see you see Darius and you're like, okay, we need to like do something. Like you you might be getting a little nervous about that. Um, and we're gonna we're Shut gonna see him go He's for just him. going over the wall. He's saying, let's fight, let's do it. As Lux trying to dish out a little bit of damage right here. The last legate doing some damage onto him, but he's gonna back up Mobino now trying to run away. He still has both summoners available. Yeah, I mean as long as you have members like close enough by where they can kind of enable that Darius to survive and do damage, it's gonna be really difficult to take him out and take the pick on that. Bai is gonna all in. They're gonna slap some people around. They're caught up by a Lux binding, they get taunted by Ramus. It's just not gonna mean too much. Not everybody's committed yeah. quite yet. Oh, the taunt under Morgana means they may be able to finish her off, but a huge amount of damage is going to come from Brand right now. Nice. Morgana's the only one to fall so far. Good so far from WWW because Ram is going too far in. We're going to find out really soon. They get a lot of damage. Oh, but here comes that bolt from Shen, Ooh. keeping everybody alive. Brand's able to kill Lux on the backside. Yeah, fantastic. Shannel, um, just to, I mean, just to keep him alive with the shield. Uh, definitely seeing some, some fighting back, I think. Yeah. You might be going a little bit. I, I think at this point, if you're going a little bit too far in just for the kills, you might need to reevaluate a little bit and look for to play around objectives. Obviously, there's no major victims up, but perhaps SC can maybe look to play towards bot lane and take down that turret. Either way, uh, I think they're sitting in a pretty good spot. Um, but honestly, it was pretty fun to watch that uh that jung that little jungle skirmish right there. A lot yeah. going on in this game. Both top laners super impactful for their team. Shen doing exactly what I talked about before the game loaded in too, which is just being the macro guy. You know, okay, somebody's going in, they're getting caught out a little bit. I'm over here clearing a wave. Time for me to ult in, time for me to taunt these guys, help out my team the way I can, which is through utility, not necessarily through damage. But even as I say that, he's done a lot of damage. He's done a lot of yeah. damage. Exodia's been able to dish out pretty solid uh, damage. Um, while still offering a lot of utility and kind of playing the Shen role correctly on um, that regards. That's Lux ulti. Yeah, just chunking out not quite Gale enough. right there, yeah, making just, him back. Just say, hey, you have to back now. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Darius like, pushing up that wave, though. Yeah, Lux is just like, really, I know it's really going to be back like up that. any second. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, if you're Darius, like, that's kind of, like, at this point in the game, um, that's oh. kind of what you want to be doing. Like a good dodge of that Q right there. Oh, here comes the ghost, and he's going to go all in. Exodia realizes this. He's going to try to save Fluffy Foo, but just can't. And I think they have just dug their own grave right there as the ultimate. It doesn't even have to come through. So much damage. Yeah. Red's a little real. bit too oh. much there. Darius oh. is going to, yeah. He he's going to run it down. over. You know, this this game, remind, we were talking, in ch I think people were talking in chat earlier, or uh, earlier today, about uh, favorite, like, L LCS players. And it, this game reminds me uh, of a game of my, one of my favorite top laners, uh, Balls, playing, uh, you know, and, and Balls in that game, that, this is back in Worlds, in, like, season four or five or something like that. And uh, he's popping off on Darius. And what I saw in Balls was what I was seeing on Last Legate, which is some, yeah. some sweet kill potential. I mean, the guy is 9-0-4 right now. And sure, we are seeing some great things out of WWW, but like the reality is, is like the Darius is looking scary. I mean, the brand's got five kills, which comes with gold. Um, what's the way you call yourself back in if you're if you're WWW? Uh, the problem is dragon. one of the ways you get back in was right there. It was just taken away by Serenity Esports. I mean, the Dragons, they got the first two, and WWW was looking really promising. But, okay, even they're going down a little bit in gold, they're getting the neutral objectives, they did a good job getting the first Herald, they got um, the, the first two Dragons. Now, though, you've got two Mountain Drakes on the side of Serenity Esports. You know, if they get all four, like, there's no real way you're going to be able to kill Darius ever. Uh, yeah. You know, he's got the Death Stance, <laughs> he's got a bunch of healing in the queue. Uh, he's going to be so impossible to kill. Um... That being said, like, you know, if you can get one more dragon, you can slow them down. If you can get a little more tanky, Senna scales the best in this game. Yeah. So you Senna have the ability. Is the late game potential. Yeah. Um, oh, but sitting pretty even. Darius going all in on Exodia up here in the top lane. He's going to start chopping him down. And unfortunately, Shen, I don't think there is a way out for you, Not even much. if Ramus gets here in time, which he cannot do. Yeah. That was the the right call by Ramus. Is uh, the shell goes? Nope. I'm gonna turn around, and at least one of us will live. Um, 
Gotta be, gotta be careful with the, the vision Silas in Silas is in the cards. bot lane. Silas has teleport up. They are gonna spot this out right now. Ho doing all the damage that he can to Lux, and it's just enough to kill him. Ram yep. is now trying to skate around. He's trying to find a way in. Oh, but Vi is like, no way. Yeah. He's gonna flash over a Q is... right at him. Oh my god, Swagger's <laughs> absolutely nuts. He's just gonna ult him. He's saying, no, we're fighting now. I've decided this as he gets binded up by Morgana and Gale, burning him down with that black pool. Oh my god, and that yeah. looks like the Baron. You yeah, ask him what they'd rather that. have, a Baron or a kill on Rammus, and Swagger says, actually, I want both. I'd rather... And, uh, yeah. <laughs> I, no, no, he didn't, he didn't even care about Baron. He saw Rammus coming great. in on a ward, and he flashed over a wall, and he did not care about Baron. I'm killing, no. he's like, I'm killing this armadillo. Yeah, you guys can go worry about Baron. I'm gonna go get a kill. We can have it all. Don't worry. I've got it. And now uh, they've got Baron, and they're looking to barrel yeah, down top of definitely him. start to push down this pretty heavily. Uh, they're going in on that shit uh, right now. Exodia kind of doing a little favor to mine, a little bit of a bait as he's going to taunt people under tower and a nice ultimate from Senna is going to come out. That's a lot of damage. Darius is going to start to take the aggro. Here comes Stramus. They're going to taunt him under tower. Darius is down. First kill onto him all game. And now all of a sudden it looks like Vi might be in trouble, but this whole time Ezreal is pushing in the mid lane. Swagger, I think you're going to go down. Yes, you do. Shen's able to taunt you into death, and Mobino trying to fight on this Ezra right here. He's going to grab up his ultimate. He doesn't have a lot of mana, though. He's able to dodge a Q. He's just going to back up as far as he can. No need yeah, to I like that they're showing up here. Um, they're not letting it fall for... Letting, they didn't let the tower fall. Um, they didn't roll over. They did lose middle inhibitor, uh, which is kind of unfortunate. There's a lot of pressure that come out of that um, going down uh, with super minions. They still have Baron for a little bit longer. I don't think it's going to lead to much due to the, the deaths of um, Darius and Vi. But now we're seeing a, a, a shutdown on Darius, which is nice. Um, unfortunately, you have it on the... The Lux, in the Lux, I think it would have been a, a little bit better if it was on someone like Senna or, or Silas, um, yes. as far as that gold, like a shutdown. Speaking like, about gold, if you threw... <laughs> and who's got it? Lux is sitting yeah. on about 2.4k, uh, and he's going to ult everybody right there, and Ezreal's going to follow up with another ult. Oh my, oh my god, wait, wait, they can finish this up, they can clean this up, Ezreal's down, Ho is going to be next, the that's a really way. nice ultimate from him though, he's getting the passive onto everybody, a good stun too, Deshell trying to finish off this Morgana, and does... Lux is here to help. The last Leggett actually is right in the position he wants. He's going to heal up a lot off that Q. But I think they do have the damage to finish him off right here. A lot of damage from Brand though. Brand is here to Ooh. stay. He is here to play. And he is going to pick up some kills with Darius right now. That's two for them so far. That's the third right there going to Darius. Yeah. The triple kill. Can they find a fourth? Fluffy Foo just laughing with the emote saying, Oops. Yeah. I mean, we were talking about that Darius needing just like somebody nearby to like help lay a little support, and that's kind of what happened there. Like it looked like he was gonna be able to, uh, or it looked like he's yeah, gonna go down. Yeah, gonna die right there. Pose and now, another kill. Lux is dead, but is spending 2.8, 2.7k ish. Uh, so maybe yeah. catching people and blowing them up can happen now. Maybe not. Yeah, I hope so. Uh, yeah, I like, I like what Toad's been doing with this brand. Um, I think we've been talking, obviously, a lot about the Darius, but yeah. yeah. I mean, the brand is looking great. It's a lot of damage. Um, tower might be going down here. The tower is going to go down. Um, but yeah, brand's dishing out a lot of damage. Um, and being around that Darius, it pretty much gives him like enough help to get through these team fights. Um, like, we are seeing some good playmaking out of WWW in terms sure. of, like, trying to catch people out and make some picks. Exodia's but I don't think nuts. they're going to be there. Exodia's kind of nuts the way he's playing right now. I think he's just a solid player. He's really, really good. As well as Mobino knowing when to go in. I mean, 3 3 3 definitely holding their own with better CS than this brand here. So, solid yeah. work. For sure, for sure. Um, Unfortunately, un they're Drake. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, they they did not were, were not able to contest the J Drake. Um, mid lane is still getting pushed in with super minions, which isn't ideal. Um, Darius yeah. is not Shen there. Shen is on though. the backside, actually gets a taunt onto Ho, but where is the damage going to come from? It looks like they are not going to be able to finish him. He's a really nice zone. He's right there, keeping himself alive for a little bit longer. Looks like Ramus can pick up the kill in the end. He's a nice ultimate, but a double kill for Ramus. That's three kills. Are they looking for the fourth? They're going to find a fourth kill. Doris is the only one alive all of a sudden for Serenity. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, like I said, like I said, Dar I was like, oh, Darius is not there. And uh, him not being there is a different game. Um, unfortunately, wasn't able to, like, make it up there in time. But usually it wasn't his on him. Um, 
just the unfortunate they got caught out and turned into a fight. But I like seeing that. I mean, four members of Serenity A down. I mean, that's it's good to see as far as if you're looking at the side of like a game that could kind of go either way. Um, now WWE saying, hey, we're kind of still in this. Um, and they just have to make picks like that. But unfortunately, it's like if the Darius was there, it, it wouldn't have gone that way. So if you're SC, you're looking at that and saying, well, we just have to not do that again. <laughs> and uh, this game will kind of be in our, in our pocket. Yeah, they do have to figure out a way to finish the game. Having a goal lead, a dragon lead, a kill lead, doesn't matter if you can't kill the Nexus. So we'll yeah. see if they're able to do that a second time in this series here. They're setting up for Baron, it looks like. Yep. Yeah, we're seeing some setup for Baron. I mean, that's a that's a good play. Um, if you're on the side of Serenity Esports, um, you're kind of looking to force like a full 5v5 fight um, around like a major objective um, or get the objective for free. Um, because in a 5v5, like where the like with the gold difference that they have right now um, and like the players that they have ahead, um, it's going to be really difficult for WWW to like win that without without them getting a pick like a 5v4 um so we're seeing some baron set up which I, I really like out of se yeah it looks like they are all setting it up trying to lay this little bit of a trap right now for the side of yeah let's see if they're gonna walk into it looks like if they're gonna walk into it they're gonna walk into it together shen leading the way should ward over the side here they do see that they're on it they see a couple of people on it as well they're gonna drop a little bit more Oh, and here comes Ramus coming around the backside. Is he at third time? He locks up onto that one. They're gonna Ramis try to burst there. it all the way down, and it's gonna go over to Blue Team oh, Swagger with a wow. really nice use of the smite right there. It's just gonna go all the way in. Nice. It's so much brand damage. That's three kills for the Serenity. Serenity, Fluffy Foo running for their <laughs> the emotes of Fluffy Foo when they're getting chased down is my favorite part of this entire series. Uh, just you such Fluffy good spirit. I love it. Running away in fear. Uh, you know, it's a fun game to watch. Uh, there's a lot of entertainment value yeah. in games like this. No, for and, sure. Uh, I, th I think we're gonna see the game uh, I would go be over to SE. Incredibly here. amazed if Silas hangs on to this game right here. I'm yeah, not saying he can't. I'm just saying I don't expect game. it. And it looks like I shouldn't because the game is going to go over to the side of Serenity. Although, if I guess executed on the path. I mean, that's a, that's the first win. Full series win in Economy League. Really solid game. And honestly, uh, WWW, you can't knock these guys down. I mean, yeah, they got beat both games. But game two, they came back swinging hard. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's like, it's one of those things where you look at the difference from game one to game two and throughout game two. Um, and you see what corrections a team, even if a team is lost, you look at what corrections um, they were able to make. But I mean, with that said, uh, SE really, really, you know, start off their season strong with like a 2-0. Um, that's always a, a nice thing. If you're like, a, you know, if you're an SE, you're like, awesome. We're, we're off to a good start. Getting a 2 0 under our belts, um, and we're going to look forward to next week. Yeah, and Brandon Dara is doing the most damage in that game, really cementing themselves as carries of the team. We saw Darius, we saw the Urgot. I don't know if he's going to get those champions again. I think you could probably give him the Darius again, pick a better matchup into it, maybe. But honestly, Exodia made incredible plays on that Shen. I mean, talk about trying to save your team, make him come back into the game. Really solid stuff. Had a couple three-man, four-man taunts. Really solid ultimates, keeping people alive to be able to turn some fights in their jungle. Um, I liked a lot of what I saw. I think also the bot lane from both sides were pretty evenly matched. So, I want to see these two teams develop. I want to see how they're able to actually move forward. I mean, this is game one. They've got 10 more series to play before the playoffs. They've got 20 yeah. full games to play. I mean, there, there's yeah. a lot of time to change. There's a lot of metas that we're going to go through. It is still early on. Uh, Exodia doing the most damage on the team as Shen. Um, really showing, uh, even up up against a great top lane opponent, um, that, you know, there's there's room. There's room for the Shen picks that you're, mm -hmm. like, shielding and, and helping out your allies while still dishing out the damage. So... Um, I'm glad that we saw, like, we didn't talk a ton about bot lane because it was kind of like an even matchup, but that just goes to show, like, sometimes those even matchups happen and, uh, 
well done from both sides, I guess, in that regard. Yeah, and sometimes if you're, if you're looking at that Ezra and Morgana, that's all you have to do in that early mid game is just be even. If you're even, yeah. you know, you, you trust your team, they, they can help you carry. And then they did a really good job positioning towards that late game team fight. So, you know, props to both of these teams. I'm really excited moving forward in the economy league. We've seen a lot of games already today just of economy league. We're going to see more later this week. We're going to see more games later this week. If there's any games tomorrow, I will be casting. Tuesday, La Chance already has a game lined up. For sure. And so, don't forget to, uh, if you don't, like, I, I was talking to some players recently and, and they didn't realize somehow that, um, that you're supposed to post in in uh, stream schedule. So if you for some somehow forgot that or didn't list didn't pay enough attention, um, don't worry because I'll tell you now. Post in streaming schedule if you want to have a chance at getting your game streamed. Obviously, they try to casters all tried to like you know spread it out and get every team you know streamed at one point or yeah. another get the new team streamed especially but you know throw your game in there because some days there's just no one else being streamed and if you don't post in there you know nobody knows it's happening yeah. and uh we'd love to stream it um there's a, a lot of great casters uh, i'm very glad i got to be included i'm excited about every economy game coming up soon thank you guys so much um and as dutch krampus always says before we sign off uh, drink more water. Drink more water, guys. Good night.